using alcohol markers and I adore watercolour. And mixing the two together is one of my favourite, favourite things to do because watercolour and alcohol markers ignore each other. It's almost like they can't see each other. They're not aware of one another's existence when they meet on paper. So there's a really unusual interaction because there is no interaction. And most art supplies intermix, but these don't. This little journal that I have here, it's all with blending card. And I've got my Schminky Jane Davenport uh, color selection that I'm using, my very favorite Schminker colors, Divine in the pans. Uh, the watercolor, I mean, I've never met a watercolor I'm not crazy about, but ooh, the intensity of those pans is incredible. And the alcohol markers that I'm using here are Mepsi, which I like to use the 24 pastel sets, got all of the very soft shades that I can use for building up flesh tones and a couple of colours that I can use for my shadows. I'm also using my Epic Pen which has got the carbon ink inside it and once it's dry it's completely impervious to the alcohol <laughs> markers and to the watercolour. The big thing about alcohol markers is that they bleed. That's what gives you those very, very soft graduated colours when you use them, when you mix your colours. You let the alcohol spread out into the paper and if you're working on a paper that the alcohol markers love, then if the, the effect of it is really extraordinary. Alcohol markers are probably my very first <laughs> supply that I really felt like I had achieved a little bit of mastery over because that's what I used in fashion illustration. So the trick with the alcohol markers is to use them on a paper they love and that will allow them to bleed so you get those lovely soft blends but also a paper that's robust enough to not curl up at watercolour because I like to use the two things together. So this is this blending paper, which needs a little bit of undulation, but because it's a journal, it presses out nice and flat. But I still get this bleed through. So and usually, or in the olden days, I would paint over that, put gesso over it, and um, use my markers and other materials on that page. However, I decided why not use the bleed through area to kick off a new piece of work. And I just wanted to share this with you because it's actually such a fun, fun process. So this is the bleed through, very unattractive, really. It's patchy and not all lovely and bl blended out, but it's like a little echo of the artwork or the sketch on the page before. And I have a little start for the next page and it's, it gives the whole little journal or sketchbook a nice little flow and some connective tissue that helps bring it all together so that it becomes an object in and of itself as a, as a whole, not just the individual pages. And I love that. Love it. And I like uh, reimagining something. It's fun. So I've used my Jane Davenport Epic Pen, which is impervious to the alcohol markers and the watercolour, and I'm using my Schminka watercolours. Uh, these are the little pans. The tubes are sensational as well, but oh, I just the pans in this brand are crazy amazing and I've put together a set of colours that I think I feel are my favourite. Now there's a huge range of colours but the colours in my selection are the best quite frankly. That's just the way it is. Uh, this is neutral tint that I'm using and I'm using the uh, Princeton Neptune watercolour brush. These are synthetic brushes and they are fantastic. I've got some very expensive, fancy watercolour brushes that I will have my whole life. And if you look after your watercolour brushes, they will last and you can leave them to the next generation. 
I'm just very loosely applying some colour, a little bit of water. Mark, papers that like markers don't usually like too much water, but this, this paper seems to be just fine and you can certainly experiment to see what papers you like that can cope with um, watercolour and how much pigment you can get on there and it's just one of the really fun parts of being an artist and one of the reasons that I adore working in a journal is because I feel so loose and free in here. There are no rules in my journal. Um, it's really just for me and it makes me more experimental than ever. So, you know, I'm willing to push things a little bit further and just to see what happens because it's fun. It's playing. So I'm really enjoying the way that this loose little drawing is coming together. It's got that sketchy look about it and my feeling is everything is forgiven in a sketch. It's my mantra <laughs> because when you keep that loose drawing, the viewer, i.e. yourself, just doesn't feel as critical. It's a sketch. It doesn't matter if things are a bit skew, if, if things aren't finished. It's fun. And isn't art uh, meant to be fun and enjoyable and bring joy into our lives? Oh, I think it is. That's what it does for me.